my name is Jack Daly and welcome to today's video. In this video we are going to be talking about how to install games on your 8BitCade using the Arduino IDE. So the first thing we need to do is we need to go to the 8BitCade website. So in case you're not sure how to do that, simply go to Google and type in 8BitCade. And there you'll see the first link, click on that and you will get 8BitCade. Now this is the website, this is where you reach a lot of the resources that you want. For this, we want to go to the game section, so click on the game button here. And that should open you up to this section here. So, scroll down and you want to go and choose your console. Now today's video will show you how to use, how to upload the games for the 8BitCade. So go to the 8BitCade and download the 8 bit game. Cade games here. Now, in case you haven't already, be sure to follow this video to install Arduino because you will be needing that in this video. So, pause it here if you haven't already installed Arduino and install Arduino. Okay, so click on this link here and you can see it will take you to the individual console page. Now, scroll down and you'll see we have this section here. So, we're looking at this section here because we want to use Arduino IDE to download. Now, you have two buttons. You have this button here, which is to download a zip file with all of the games. And you have this button here, which is for the setup document. We will be needing both. So go ahead and click on that button and you'll see that opens up a new tab with the Arduino library and board setup. So click on this button here to download a zip file with all of the 8BitCade games. So you can see that's downloading. And Okay, so once it's finished downloading, you can click on this little option here you can go show in folder and that will bring up the window explorer and it will show you where it's been downloaded okay so if we look at my downloads you can now see we've got the abcade and exile games part one so if we go ahead and move this to the desktop extract it by right clicking and clicking extract all and what that will do is that will bring up this dialog box in which you can choose where you want to extract all of the games to then go ahead and click extract and then open it up, you'll see we have all of the different games. So here you can see you've got all of the different games. So what you want to do is you want to select the folder of the game that you want to install. So for example, if we want to load Pong onto the 8BitCade, we would click on the Pong uh, folder, open it up, and look for the .ino Arduino master file. So for example, you can't see it in here, so we'll have to open up this one, and there it is. So you can see we've got Pong, Arduino file, and that is the master file. So what we want to do is we want to open this up, but you can see we've got some other files. We've got a CPP and HPP. Now we'll get into what those mean in the learn section in more detail, but for now, note that the main file that we want to open up is this one here. So go ahead and open that up. Okay, so now that we've opened the game, you can see we've opened up Arduino. We'll make that a little bit bigger so then it's easier to read. So here you can see we've got the file organized quite nicely. We have .cpp files, which means C++, which is a different language that you can also use to code Arduino with. And we can see we've also got .hpp. So this just helps us with organizing the code. And we'll go into how we use those in another video. But note that .hpp is a header file that's used for defining things. And the .cpp file is used for coding in C++. So what we need to do now is we need to go to tools and we need to then check these settings with the setup guide. So if I go ahead and move this to the side, I opened up the setup file here and we go back to Arduino, we can scroll down. Now you guys should have done this first bit here to install the library. If you haven't already, go ahead and follow this tutorial. But the, the part that we're interested in most is this settings here. So go to tools and then check them. So board, homemade Arduino Boy, that is correct. Based on SparkFun Pro Micro 5 volts, that is correct. So just go ahead and check them. It looks like these are all correct. So now what we want to do is we want to click the port that our Arduino 8BitCade is connected to. So go ahead and connect your 8BitCade like so. Go ahead and grab your 8BitCade and grab the lead that comes with it and plug this end into your Pro Micro, as shown. Then plug the USB into a USB port on your computer. And you can see that should 
flash up. However, you guys won't have anything loaded yet. So now you can see I've, I've connected it and we can see we've got COM9 Arduino Leonardo. So go click on that and now you can upload the sketch or the game to your 8-bit cade by firstly verifying the code to ensure that everything works correctly and that you've got the correct libraries and the setup works. And once that's done, then click on the upload button and that should upload it to your 8-bit cade. Now that that's done uploading, you should see on your 8-bit kid console, you have Pong playing. So here you can see we have Pong loaded. Okay, so that's all for this video. Thank you so much for watching. You have successfully loaded your first game using the Arduino IDE. Now, the positives of loading with the Arduino IDE is that you can actually see how the game works and you can sort of understand and see the coding behind it and how it's structured. So I hope you enjoyed this video. This has been Jack Daly from 8 Decade. Have a great time on your console playing new games such as Pong and other games. And that's it. Thank you so much. Keep gaming.